In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to customize the layout of your site by creating a custom header using Elementor, and then also how to add this profile dropdown and these icons into your Elementor header using our profile navigation Elementor block. So we're going to head into the WordPress dashboard. Make sure in plugins that you have Elementor and Elementor Pro activated. And then within the Elementor settings, go to Templates Theme Builder. And from here, we can create a new header. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Add New. And I'm gonna pick Header. And I'll just call this Header. I'm gonna create my template. And I'm going to go ahead and use this header pre-built template just to make this faster. And let's publish that. So Elementor lets you set conditions as to where the header will display. I'm just gonna say it displays on the entire site. If you want to, you could exclude the header from certain areas of the site like WooCommerce. Um, all right, so that's saved. Let's refresh the site and just see where we're at right now. All right, things are looking kind of okay. Let's just clean this stuff up before we move to the profile dropdown. So the logo size is a little bit off and it's using the wrong navigation. I can see it's using the body panel and we want our title bar here. So I'm gonna go in here and let's first click the navigation and switch it to title bar and update. Let me go into the logo and just make it look a little nicer. All right, let's refresh that. Great, so now we have our custom header working. And now we're going to set up the profile dropdown here so that our logged in users can access their profile and see their notifications, etc. So I'm gonna come back in here. And of course, where I place things is just how I want my header to look. You could do this anywhere you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And if you scroll down under Body Boss, you'll see a Elementor block called Header Bar. This is a custom Elementor block that will load automatically if you're using the latest version of the theme. As months go by, we'll be adding more custom blocks, but for now we have this one. So we can go in here and drop that in. Give it a second to load and there we go. So let me update that and preview. And now we have our profile dropdown in here. So now I'm going to show you how to customize this. Part of the appeal of Elementor is that it's really flexible with tons of options. So we've gone ahead and given you a lot of layout options for this, just like any other Elementor block. So if we go in here, you can see you can turn the profile dropdown on and off, the separator on and off, the individual icons can be turned on and off. And we can actually change the icons too. So let's say the messages icon, I can go into the Elementor library and use their icon if I want to. And then, or I can turn that off and go back to our default icon. And then if I go into style, we can adjust the alignment of our block. We can adjust the space between elements, the width of the separator and the color of the separator. We have these tool tips under here and you can go in here and configure the typography for the tooltip. And if you watch our custom fonts video, you can actually add custom fonts into BodyBoss theme, which are available in all Elementor blocks. So I can switch the font of our tooltips. The counter is this little bubble that shows up if you have items in your cart when using WooCommerce or notifications or messages. And we can change the color of that. We can change the icon size, color of the icons. I can make an individual icon a different color. And then we have the profile navigation, which is this part. And we can change the size of the avatar, the border style of the avatar, the thickness of the border, color of the border, we can adjust the border radius, make it square. We can change the typography 
of the font and the color of the display name in regular and hover state. And then even the profile dropdown, we could give it a background color and change the colors and typography of all the links in the dropdown. So as you can see, this is pretty powerful and very customizable. And this should allow you to create any type of header that you want.